Good morning, uh, DST traders. Today we're going to look at the dollar yen on and the current uh, trades that we've got going, and kind of see how to place trades using the uh, matrix or chart trader or a combination of both. So this obviously this trade was back around the first of September, okay, and you can see it's a short trade. Um, let me make one other thing. I like to uh, scale it so it it saves on the last price. So I'm going to right click on the chart. I go to format symbol and I'll change the scaling scaling tab. I like to center on the last price. That way I can see everything, you know, kind of right there. If I, you know, back uh, at down arrow just a hair, I'm going to see the full trade. Notice these little uh, microscopic dots right there. That's the trade for profit dot. If I were to pull up a data window, you can go to view data window or you go up to the top right here, click on the data window, and it'll come over. That basically, you know, you set it in the calculator. I just kind of show you something at around 90 or 95 percent of the target. So again, trade for profit right down here is 116.49 the full target is 116.31 uh, so again it's just you can make them bigger and things like that but again that's that's all that that is so there is the trade we have it in the entries 119.77 really 78 your target one is there this first line here and uh, in fact what I like to do also uh, let's put some horizontal lines for a moment just so we can kind of see you can pretty much see there and we'll put a full target line down about here and we'll put a stop so I mean if the numbers are in the data window but I kinda like to see if I'm gonna look for any kind of a swing level adjustment I can put some lines and I format them over here to right justify so that they're on the right hand side of the chart as opposed to left so if I right click on the line, format horizontal line, uh, under labels, right justify, and say save as default. You can also make the numbers bigger or smaller. Right there, I like 14. Change the color, style, you know, all that. But anyway, that's how, how I do it. Again, so actually let's put one at the entry. So the entry should be right about there. It matches up. Entry 1649. I'm sorry, uh, 1977, 78. I've got it very close. So I want to place this order. There's two ways of doing it. You can just do Chart Trader. You turn on Chart Trader right up here with a railroad track kind of thing. And you'll see it here. You can get rid of this if you want to do a, we're going to do a short trade, so it'll be a uh, alternate left click for a short trade. So we can get rid of that. But the only bad thing about that is you can't specify, I like to specify in the matrix, you know, 100 pips for the stop, 100 pips for the target, things like that. Um, obviously, you're going to set your trade size. So let's just say we're going to trade. Um, 10,000 which is one mini and we're going to attach the OSO it's a single position exit one if you wanted to have two positions let's say you wanted to have two positions make this a 20,000 order and we can you know have two limits and one stop limit let's do that 2L one stop limit all right, so if I, I'm ready to place this order and I want to place it right down about here, I'm going to do the alternate left click. And are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. And there it is. Okay, so now let me go ahead and get rid of these lines for you. So this is chart trading. Now, notice how compressed this is. Again, that's because you don't have the three dots on the matrix that can spread these out. Granted, you know, you can move them and, you know, refine them, but let's go ahead now and also take a look at a matrix because I like to maybe refine my trades a little bit with a matrix. 
So I'll go over here to the trading apps and I'll pick the matrix. Matrix pops up. Let's size it up right over here. Shrink it down and make it a little longer. Okay, so I've got the matrix here. Now the first thing you notice is you see how it's got the fifth decimal, right? So this this is the spread. This is the difference between the buy and the sell. But it's really hard. I mean, you know, again, it, you know, 120, 97 to uh, 120, 99. It's very hard to see. So what you do is you come up here to the axis. You can just make this a little bit bigger if you can't see it. But right over here, you've got the account quantity axis. You want to change this from 0.001 to 0.01. So let's just hit the arrow up here till I get to 0.1. Okay, 0.01. Now look at the spread. All right, now that's a normal because again, it basically is saying ignore that fifth decimal. So now when I go to place an order, it's a little bit easier. So let's say I don't know exactly where from looking at this, I think the, the entry I, I have is 119.788. So it was very close. And again, these are in gray, uh, 119. And again, in case my mouse is not tracking, let me get the, let's get my arrow. I'm, I'm just kind of looking at these numbers right over here in the, on the right margin. Okay. So let's scroll down on the matrix and we can see the trade. All right, so what I, why I say I like to refine this or place the whole thing here. Uh, again, placing the whole thing, I can put a quantity of 20,000. Okay, I can select and attach OSO. I can pick my bracket. I can say two limit and one stop limit. But then I've got those three dots right here. Right, so I click on those three dots, and here's where I can tell it. I want to see the, the the stop 100 pips away. So again, it deals with the fifth decimal, so 100 pips would be a thousand, and put your stop on the second position at a thousand. And uh, I'm sorry, there it's it's already it's uh let's set this at uh, 1,000. So I'm sorry, it's on this side, the stop limit offset. Um, all right, let's go here. I want the target, first target to be, uh, let's go 100 pips. And the second target is going to be 200 pips. Let's see if that doesn't look right. All right, I'm going to get rid of this uh, current chart trading trade. I'm just going to hit cancel all. Now in the matrix here, I'm going to put a cell. Let's go down to the price. We already said the price was about 120 from the calculator. Right here, uh, 119.77. So let's go down to 119.77. On the cell side, click. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you can see now over here on the chart trader that they're kind of spread out already for you. So you've got two going short right down here. There's the stop right here, the buy stop. And again, we need to have that higher, right? So you can either drag it on the chart up to here, let go, yes. Drag the second position. And again, it's easier if you're only doing one position Yes. So now the stops up here, and then I again I ha I put two targets. You know, let's say in case you wanted to maybe um, trail or you know sell half your position. You know, at this target one. Again, so let's move this one down to the full target right here. Okay. So again, you can. I'm just showing you some things that you can do if you're if you are doing two positions you're splitting things up and again notice how price action stopped right here so I would I would not want to make you know it hit that because it obviously bounced off of that 
what you can now do is refine everything on the matrix. Let's go up and look at our stop. Let's see if we got the stop correct on the chart trader. Because again, it might not be exact. We turns out it is. Am I happy with 121.50? No. Uh, I'm selling the market, so that I'm buying this position back. So I want to add the spread and put it above the 50. So I would have the stop, and you got to do it both of them at 121.53. So again, I, I like looking at the matrix because I can see the numbers, and it's better for making adjustments. I've got the entry right down here, 77. I'm okay with that. Let's scroll down further. There's that first target if I want to split the position. If not, I can just drag this on down to make it go down to the full target. Okay, see, so let's do this here. Look, drag it on down. And now let's go down and take a look at the full target. There. And I happen to get them matched up exactly. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, hold on with that. 117, we're, we're trying to get down to 116. Keep going, there. There's the target, 116.32. Uh, the calculator is asking for uh, 116. 1631 32 so okay so anyway so you can just find the orders here again you can move them on the chart trader so that's how I like to do it so this trade is still alive obviously the stops up here if it does hit the stop here you'll cancel the order this add-on trade right here it already hit you're not gonna do anything with that because it hit its money management that first dot right there right and you move the stop down. It didn't get to its full target. So that's all there is to do. So again, you can you can use the chart trader. Let me cancel all. The only difference again with chart trader is get close to your entry right here. Alternate left click. Give it up through the confirms. They're just really close. Okay, so you have to kind of grab them. You could then again come over to the matrix and start moving them up. Let me grab the stop and I'm going to go up to 121.53. Just hold this at the top of the screen. It will scroll down, scroll, scroll, scroll. We're looking for 121. I'm still holding the mouse down. 121.53. Okay, there. 53. I'm still holding the mouse down. Then I let go. It says yes and yes. So now your stop is up there. So again, I, and then I can move the target, or I can move the target here, right? Boom. Yes. Yes. Again, if you're only doing one position, it's, you know, you can, you'll just set it right here to your bracket. You can have up to three positions easily set. The trade split into three different positions. You would just do the one limit and one stop limit. If you're just doing a single position, whatever size, 20,000, 10,000, so. I hope that helps. That's how easy it is. Again, you can, you know, I refine the numbers on the matrix. Sometimes I'll place them initially on the matrix because I can do this three button, you know, and, and set them 100, 200 pips, you know, way on your target. And that way they're a little spread out. But you can obviously move them where you want them on, uh, on the chart trader. Good trading.